The next step in Georgia is to file a motion for new trial. Unlike in federal cases, this is a critical step in Georgia because this is where your first chance is to raise ineffective assistance of trial counsel. And in Georgia, if you don't raise it at the first opportunity, it's considered waived. So you have a motion for new trial, which is before the same judge that heard the trial. If you're raising ineffective assistance of counsel, you try call to trial counsel as a witness. If you're unsuccessful at the motion for new trial, you then file your direct appeal. Murder cases go directly to the Georgia Supreme Court, and cases with constitutional questions that were preserved go to the Georgia Supreme Court. All other cases go to the Georgia Court of Appeals. Uh, you brief the case. Sometimes you have oral arguments. Sometimes the court wants to decide it on the briefs. And then you wait for a decision. If you're unsuccessful on direct appeal, your next step would be to file a state habeas. In Georgia, you have four years to file a state habeas from the time your conviction became final after a review by the appellate courts. But if you want to save federal time, you actually have to file your Georgia state habeas in less than a year. After that, if you're unsuccessful uh, on your habeas and you've saved time for a federal habeas, you can pursue that. It's called, it falls under Section 28 U.S.C. 2254. After that, if you're unsuccessful in the federal habeas, you're into the extraordinary uh, remedies, uh, things like an extraordinary motion for new trial or a successive habeas. Both of those require new things that you couldn't have found or raised before, and they are very rarely granted. Aside from that, we also can help people when they uh, pursue parole. People become eligible in Georgia for most offenses after they've served one third of their sentence, although there are a few offenses that are not parole eligible. And if you receive a life sentence in Georgia, you're not eligible for parole for 30 years. There are also many district attorney's offices are starting to form what's called conviction integrity units that look at the integrity of some past convictions and uh, whether the sentence was appropriate. They're still rather rare around the state, but they are expanding. And so we do help people navigate that process as well.